Hi everybody, the purpose of this video is to show you how to set up uh, your gradebook for goal-based grading. So what I want you to do is go to the left-hand column um, and you want to go to grade setup. We are going to change a couple of settings just to make sure that our gradebook is um, set up for competency-based grading and um, in our district, our goal-based grading for our middle school math. So the first thing I want you to look at is this grading periods and final weights. I want you to weight each of these categories as zero. That will ensure that grades are not being averaged and um, the scores won't be averaged for the students um, because we're going to be using the goal-based um, grading uh, rubric. So we also need to adjust our final settings. We are going to change this to goal-based math. And then we're going to go down here and I just want you to double check the visibility settings. You want to make sure that both of these items are checked where it says hide overall grade in student report and hide grading period grades in student grade report. So now that we have this factored as a zero, I'm going to hit uh, save changes. I get the screen bar that says my changes have been saved. Just want to show you how the grade book looks a little bit different. So now these averages are, these are not being, um, they're not being average. I'm not getting an overall average um, for the student because of the, uh, the master grade book settings that, I, that I've set up. So we've got our grade set up done. We did um, change the weight to zero. We changed the final grade um, to um, the goal-based grading, and we changed the visibility settings, and then we hit uh, save changes. Next up, we're going to take a look at the mastery settings. So looking at this first column, you're going to click mastery. So now that we're in mastery, it doesn't look like much yet, but let's go ahead and get the mastery settings. Um, we're going to go to the gear up here. We're going to click that, and then we're going to say mastery settings. So the first thing that we need to change is the mastery scale from numeric or whatever you have selected currently to goal-based math. And now we're going to we're going to put in our uh, five, eight, and um, to symbolize what meets expectations. So for meeting expectations, a student would need to score a five of a minimum on the mastery grade um, rubric that we use for math. And then in order to exceed, a student would need to have an eight. We're going to keep the mastery at one with the decaying average at 75%. But once I click save changes, I just want to show you how this now changes. So now you can see it's going to start color coding the assignments based on the goal based um, grading scale. And um, I can drill in to each standard. So um, check out the way that this color coding looks on my sandbox course and then you guys will have the same setup on your course once you start grading using the mastery grade book. So as you start grading it's going to populate with the standards. A dark green is going to mean that the student has exceeded. There's a light green for mastered um, and then various shades of red for progressing. You can drill down um, on each standard and you'll be able to see if there's multiple assignments. So see this standard has been assessed two times and so I can see each of the ways that those were um, assessed and then how each of the student did. I hope that you found this helpful and I hope that you enjoy using the Mastery Gradebook in Schoology for your goal-based grading in Colonial Middle Schools. Thank you.